In this video, you're going to learn how to find the slope between two points using two different techniques. We're going to talk about how to find the slope using the rise over the run. We're also going to talk about how to find the slope using the slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We're going to go through two different examples. Let's do the first one together and the second one you can test yourself and practice on your own. So notice we're given two points here. We've got this point here, 4, 1 and this point here, negative two, negative one. And we're trying to figure out like, what's the angle of the line? Like what's the slope, kind of like a ski slope? Like how steep is it? How, you know, not so steep is it? Two different techniques. Now the first technique, when you think of the slope, it's this rise, meaning the vertical change over the run, which is like this horizontal change. So what I could do is I could kind of think of like, if I was walking from here to here, I'd have to go a rise or a change in the y or a vertical direction, I have to actually go up one, two. Now notice I'm going up, that's a positive two. If I was going down, that'd be a negative two. Then I'm gonna go right, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then when I go to the right, that's positive. If I was to go to the left, that's negative. So just like a number line, up positive, down negative, right positive, left negative. So you can see this is our rise positive two, this is our run, positive six. So if we do this formula rise over run, that's gonna be two over six, which is a slope of one third. Now you might be saying, Mario, why did you go from this point to this point? Why don't you go from this point to that point? Well, we can do it that way too. So here we could say, let's go down two. So see how I went down, that's a negative two. And then let's go left six, left is negative. And so now you can see we get a negative two over a negative six, which is equal to one third. Now the mistake that students sometimes make is they'll put the rise and the run in the opposite uh, spots. So the rise is up and down, that goes in the numerator, and the run left and right, that goes in the denominator. And you're just thinking about how do I get from one point to the other point. I could go up two and over six, or I could go down two and left six, Either way, you get the same slope. Now, if you wanna use the slope formula here, you can think of these two points as like x1, y1. That just one means for point number one, the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate, and x2, y2. That two just means for point number two. So we're gonna say one minus negative one, that's the change in the y's, over four minus negative two. Now remember, when you subtract, it's like adding the opposite so we're getting two over six, which is equal to one third. See, same slope. Sometimes students make a mistake. They'll put the x's in the numerator and the y's in the denominator. You wanna make sure it's the y's in the numerator, x's in the denominator. The other mistake that students sometimes make is that they will say one minus negative one, and then they'll switch the order. They'll say negative two minus four. You wanna stay consistent. So if you do this point minus this point, you wanna do Keep it the same for both the y's and the x's, that same order. Now we could switch it up. I could say uh, negative one minus one over negative two minus four, that's fine, but as long as you stay consistent. So you can change up this formula if you want and say y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. That will give you the exact same slope. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, see if you can pause the video and do this problem on your own and we'll go through it together. So we're given this point negative one, four, and two comma one, how can you find the slope that goes through the, the slope of the line that goes through those two points? Now, before you do that problem, or while you're doing that problem, let me just mention, if you like the way that I'm explaining some of these algebra concepts, check out in the description below. I have an Algebra One video course for sale and an Algebra Two or College Algebra video course for sale. So check those out if you're interested in going deeper in this algebra topics with me. If I was gonna do this problem, well, I'm gonna do it both ways. I'm gonna do it one way using the rise over run. So from here, I'm gonna do a rise of down one, two, three. So that's a down negative three. And I'm gonna go right one, two, three. That's positive three. So the rise is negative three. The run is positive three. That comes out to a slope of negative one. We could also do it this way where we're going up three that's positive three, and then we're going left three, that's negative three. In this case, the rise is positive, the run is negative, but that still comes out to a slope of negative one. Same answer, right? 
The other way to do this is to use our slope formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say y minus y, so 1 minus 4 over x minus x, that's 2 minus negative 1, that comes out to negative 3 over positive 3, which is negative 1, same answer. So great job. If you want to see some more examples of working with the slope, I'll put a video right there on the screen. Go ahead and follow me over that video. Let's get some more practice. I'll see you there.